We're talking about a card who's legitimately been fodder for the past, I don't know, since forever. Target locked. Busquets has 80 pace. Target locked. Busquets. <laughs> Now, there's a couple things I wasn't expecting to see on a Monday. One, waking up to see that I finished 22-8 and eight in my weekend league with Adam Armstrong next to Wayne Rooney in my weekend league run. I scored 54 goals in 30 games of weekend league with an 85-rated Adam Armstrong, and he followed me back on Twitter. Two, Sergio Busquets with 80 pace. I repeat, Sergio Busquets has 80 pace. What's happening, boys, and welcome to the 90-rated player moments Sergio Busquets Burgos, who gets himself a player moments card for the opening, uh, celebrating his debut goal for Barcelona in the UEFA Champions League 08 09 run. That is right. Uh, again, one of those things I wasn't expecting to see on a Monday a couple weeks ago. We got a uh, Tony Cruz who had his pace jacked off a little bit. And today, lo and behold, we get ourselves a 90 rated Sergio Busquets. Now, he's about 175K, so he's not the cheapest. He's not also the most expensive SBC that we've gotten. Looks actually pretty decent, but I have an idea as to why maybe this might not be the smartest thing to do. Might, uh, might, why this might not be the smartest. Uh, SPC to complete. If you're a Barcelona, uh, if you're a Barcelona supporter or a Spain national team supporter, there's no question about it. You're getting this card done. It's an 80 pace Sergio Busquets with the Spain and the Barcelona flat, uh, yellow, the yellow, and then the text and everything just blends together uh, beautifully. Uh, and he's a Formula One driver now. But uh, we're about to get into it, boys. If you guys do enjoy the episode, is if you guys do enjoy a cheeky Sergio Pesquets on a Monday, smash like on the video. Smash like if you're an absolute mad lad. If you guys are new to the channel, hit the subscribe button down below. Now, one thing I would have liked to see, I would have liked to see maybe a four-star weak foot. You know, uh, four-star skill moves uh, Sergio Busquets would have been kind of fun. He actually is kind of a skiller. Um, and uh, an another little, uh, you know, sort of like a, a I, get, I tend to get sidetracked from so time to time. But, you know, Sergio Busquets is one of those players, one, probably the most top three most underrated player that's maybe ever played for Barcelona. I, I remember reading a famous quote that when Barcelona is playing well, you never notice Busquets because he is that gel. He's the guy in this. He's he's the guy that's kind of making sure that everything's running smoothly. Just one of those guys that you never have to worry about how he's playing. He's always just going to be consistent, reliable. They've doubled his sprint speed and acceleration, which I suppose we should get into now. So you get a 6-2 player, medium high, face stats, 80 pace, 87 defending, and then outside 86 dribbling. And outside of that, some of the stats look a little bit mediocre. And if we, di we, we dive into the stats, he has 76 acceleration. I am going to be using an engine chem style. I know that's probably not the most popular one, but my rationale and my reasoning behind that is I want to get those dribbling stats jacked off a little bit. I want that dribbling up to 93 up from 83. I want that agility all the way up to 88. Balance, I'm not sure what 90 is going to offer him, but I think his defensive stats are goaded enough already. I don't think you need the shadow. The reason you would put the shadow is obviously to get him up to 93 sprint speed, but really, what's the difference between 88 and 93? And then, what is that? 81, so 81 acceleration and then 88 sprint speed. For a Busquets, I think he'll feel faster with the engine where his agility gets up to, where his agility goes up to 88 and his dribbling goes up to 93. That's what we're going to test out. You're not going to be shooting long shots from him. He's medium high work rate. He's a guy that you're going to want to stay back. He's got 92 short passing. I also want to use an engine because I want to get some of those passing stats jacked off. 87 stamina, 81 strength, 87 aggression. No player traits to speak of. Uh, and one of the reasons that I think that maybe you probably shouldn't, unless you're a Barcelona or Spain national team supporter, you've got a guy like uh, Vasis Das, who's literally exactly half the price and in many ways is a better card and is more variable because he's Hullet, he's Hullet Gang and you can do a whole lot more with him. So instead of spending the 175k on tradable, pick yourself up a Vasis Das or maybe a Rule Breakers Lorente. Now, the question is, can you run him at center back? I'm, I'm thinking about that now, right? 83 sprint speed, 76 acceleration, put him alongside uh, PK with 83 agility. Maybe then you could maybe then feel a little bit more confident throwing the... Um, the shadow on him, medium high. Like, why, why, why wouldn't he be a good center back? Is the only thing that I'm thinking. Maybe jumping and heading accuracy is a little bit sus, but he's six two, so I don't know. Maybe that's something we try out as well. Hey, match number one, vamos. We're talking about a card who's legitimately been fodder for the past, I don't know, since forever. When was the last time Busquets had a card that you could actually uh, that you could actually run with pace? When did Busquets last have pace? Busquets, where are you? Where is Busquets? Wait, was that him right there? <laughs> just a tree, isn't it? Look at the light. 
Gizmo on this track. What a what an absolute slide tackle from the busk. Uh, I'm also using a lone team of the year Messi because I'm thinking about doing the player of the month uh, player of the month Messi, and I feel like he gives us the most um, he gives us the closest thing to what that uh, that player of the month could possibly offer. Yikes! What a strike. Okay. I mean, super nice ball control. Yeah. Super sticky ball control. Body faint. Okay. Busquets has 69 long shots. That shouldn't have been. That shouldn't have been close to going in. I want to see how he feels with the L2, uh, the L2, the L2 jockeying. Big man. Look at, look, at, look at the confidence that he exhibits going into a challenge. The absolute state of the land. All right, there's Vasis Das. Back to Busquets. A little bit of a body faint. You want to know what? Busquets, I don't know if it's the engine, but he's got really good... Uh, what? He's, he's not going to be a goal scorer for you. He, dude, he looks like an absolute tree, though. Yeah, his reg it, Look at him. Yeah, he, he, he. You know what he has? He's kind of got. He's kind of got that uh, Conte force field, right? Ready? So I pass, and then he listens to instruction set. Yeah, he stays back. Would have made the card a little bit more fun, right? I mean, if they're gonna, if if, if they're gonna meme the hell out of his pace and literally double his pace, give the lad four star skill moves as well. But then are we talking about like a 250k card? Busquets. Das. Busquets. Everyone can crack the everyone can crack the nuts. Yeah, so my th my first thoughts on Busquets is like, yeah, he again, he's not a flashy player. Um, kind of absorbs uh, kind of absorbs tackles. I mean, no surprise. Very very good tackling stats. Das is das. Nice. All right. Let's, let's see. And this this is this is the part of the pitch where you dominate with Busquets. This is the part of the pitch where you this this is where he this is where he earns his. Uh, this is where he earns his coins. Look at the confidence in the child from the bisque. Look at the pace on Anaki. And that that wasn't his shot. Wait, you're telling me that was on that was Inaki Williams' shot? That sucks. The moment I discussed doing Player of the Month Messi, who's 96, right? Obviously, uh, this is a 98. The moment I discussed it, everyone always says has, how his finesse shots are broken, how it's like effortless. You, when you do the when you do when you do the finesse shots from a, a specific place on the pitch. It's pretty much guaranteed to go in. He's a he's a cheat code. <laughs> Lionel Messi is Messi is actually a cheat code, dude. Yep. Yeah, see, Busquets is like notice notice his feet. Notice notice like okay, th this is just literally left hand long stick dribbling. Notice the feet. Does Busquets have finesses? No. Literally went right at Nick Pope. Boys, and those those messy finesse those messy finesses came up against the best keeper in the game, the 84 Nicholas Pope. The only card technically better than him is the 82. Right, let's let's see what he looks like uh, getting. Let's see what he looks like getting. Back. There we go. There's the confidence in the tackle would have would have been nice to recover it, but I'll take it. You know what's well and truly been a special day. When you're catching up with the newsman Dembele with a with a with a Busquets card. Was is das? Was is los? Was is das with maybe the play of the game right there? Two one, and we score two absolute jammers with uh with Messi with the finesse. He can't believe it, dude. Hui, madre mia! Zinchenko was looking looking back at Messi, sees that he's shooting, and gets down at the exact right time. Nice underwear, bro. And then look at the look at the finesse shot. Look at the absolute finesse shot. Look at the bend on it. Oh my dear lord. The finesse is just there's no keeper in the game that's getting that. It's just impossible.
feel like I'm living in some sort of dream world where Busquets is running faster than some of the players around him. I mean, look at look at Busquets. Look at just what he wants to be. Look at what he means to the club. Look at look at it needs to mean more. Oh. Sure, he's got the shooting stats of a Triscuit cracker, but you want to know what? He's got decent attack positioning. He can put himself in the he can put himself in the attacking position. He's just not he's I mean, actually, you know, finishing wise, he's actually got 76. So I mean, I wonder I wonder if maybe there's something to be done there. He's a heat-seeking missile now. He's lit. Look at Busquets almost look at look at Busquets catching up with Mohamed Salah and forcing him to stop. That's a, that's a, that's a, in hockey we call that a positive play. He gets plus one for that on a shift. Referee, have a word. Thank you. If, if there's one play that kind of, um, I, I would use to indicate what you can expect with this, this Busquets card, it's that one right there. His challenges are second to none. You literally, you, you just, you slam circle and he kind of just absorbs. Um, and look at him, he, st he stays there and he does, he, he, he plays his role. Plays his role near expertly. There we go. Anaki Williams. Vasis Das. Vasis Das has decent finishing stats. But this is FIFA 21, so Rafa Varane is going to be a goalkeeper. Another, another expertly... Expertly time challenge. Target locked. Nuts. <laughs> Lionel Andres Messi. Ahí se viene y la va a tener. Messi finesse. It's not even a question. Then el palo. Mira. Still. Maybe alongside of Ramos or something. There's Vasquez Das. Cante. Target locked. See, that's what I mean. He's got these long, stringy. He's got these long beanstalk legs. And if you tap circle, he just kind of flails them out, and they kind of like they're like tentacles, and they just grab on grab on what what's ever in the vicinity. Daniel Vaz. Not a guy that you can rely on to finish chances inside the box, but uh, certainly a guy that you can rely on defensively, and that's exactly what he does for you. Um, he is a defensive rock. 175,000 coins. Again, it's not cheap, uh, but it's also not super super expensive. You're gonna have to make a judgment call on that. I would say that La Liga has some pretty decent options. Casemiro, while he's high rated, isn't one of those. I think you can look at uh, the likes of a uh, any version of Marcus Lorente, maybe even the the Rule Breakers one uh, specifically. You've got yourself this Vas, who played very, very well for us in his uh, in the RCM role. A little bit more of a, a Hullet gang member. Also, three-star, three-star. And again, like I said, half the price. I would go so far as to say three out of five. I don't think it's absurdly priced. I think he is, I don't want to say exactly end game. I don't really like using that word, but um, he is a guy that could slot into a weekend league squad and I think perform very admirably for you there. Three and a half out of five in terms of, uh, in terms of on the pitch performance. The only reason I'm giving him a three and a half out of five instead of four, he's not very, you know, a lot of these cards kind of have dual purpose. You know, they have a delay who's got really good defensive stats but also can get involved in the in the attack uh Busquets just doesn't really have anything too crazy there to speak of but um does look like a pretty solid card indeed for 175,000 coins but that's gonna do it for the episode here boys smash like on the video if you guys did enjoy hit that subscribe button if you guys are new to the channel and I will catch you guys for another upload tomorrow until next time my bros choose later ade